everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lizzie Hofer and I'm a residential loan officer in Phoenix, Arizona, teaching practical money tips. Today on the channel, I wanna dig deep into the bubble and understanding inflation, the state of the economy, and why everyone is reporting that the market is gonna crash. I think it's an important time to discuss it, especially because we have an election around the corner, and this is the kind of information I think the everyday person needs to know. Okay, now before I get into the video, I am just gonna preface my own opinions about just, <sighs> like what's going on with the election, who's president. You know, I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican. Look, the things that are gonna have the most impact to your life are the things that you control under your own household. So your budget, your spending, and your savings. If you really focus on what happens there, you're gonna win. Okay, I have worked in environments where I paid higher taxes, lower taxes, had a Democratic president, a Republican president. You know, we've increased basically the, the deficit my entire working life, right? Um, so I will tell you that for me, the things that have really made a difference are just focusing on my own finances and really busting my butt to make more money. So I just don't want you guys to be fearful when it comes to this. And I know if you're watching a video on YouTube, you can get consumed by all of the people in the world talking about all of the bubbles, which let me tell you is just freaking clickbait. Um, so let's dig into it, okay? So why are people talking about the deficit, the bubble, the crash of the United States. Well, here's the deal, okay? Um, the truth is, the sky has always been falling. It's been falling when for our grandparents, our parents, ourselves. There's literally always something that's gonna cause the next crash, that's gonna cause the next big, you know, recession, depression, I mean, you name it. And we're just on the heels of having everyone live through the recession. So that's why people keep talking about the housing crash. But essentially, Nobody knows how to deal with a national pandemic, but important things to understand about the deficit, right, is that when the government prints out more money, right, they typically inject it into the economy. When governments raise taxes, they pull it out of the economy, okay? So just understanding that basic principle is super important to understanding whether or not you think this is a big deal or not, okay? so. What I have taught you in the past about supply and demand is that the more supply typically results in a lower valuation, right? So when they print out more money, our money is worth less. This is the phenomenon that you have come to know as, you know, the $5 that we had as kids isn't worth the same $5 that we know as adults, right? It's how our parents were able to buy $30,000 mortgages and we have to finance them now for $300. Right. So it's just it's super important, right, to understand that when they print out money, right, it typically increases the cost of goods and services. OK, now what people fear, right, is that we won't be able to control the rising cost of goods and services, which is known as hyperinflation. And it's and what makes me kind of giggle there is that it's a phenomenon that's really taken place in third world countries that had newly developed governments and currencies. And, and those governments, by the way, Zimbabwe and Venezuela have a lot of government corruption too. And so the, the money never makes it to the people. And so the cost of goods and services increase, they constantly have to replace it with more deficit money and surplus or stimulus. And so it's this never ending cycle of increased cost of goods and services and increase in debt. And so their currencies are basically worth nothing, right? that isn't gonna to happen to developed countries like the United States. We've basically been printing out money our entire existence, right? There isn't been a time in your life where the government hasn't increased the deficit. In fact, every single president, aside from Bill Clinton, I have seen headlines that said, the national debt is blank. This is the highest the deficit has ever been. And, that, and while I'm not saying we have to ignore it, what I'm saying is that it has made very little impact to our actual lives. Is inflation a concern? Absolutely, right? But it's not necessarily a bad thing. And I think that when people apply judgments to economic principles as good or bad, they just don't really understand that it has its own place, right? So we always want costs of goods and services to be increasing somewhere between one and 3%. That's the sign of a healthy growing economy right? If we had the opposite, right? So the cost of goods and services decreasing and our money like 
less money being in circulation, right? You think, oh, that sounds awesome. Our money is worth more and costs of goods and services go down. We can afford more. But that's not actually what happens in those types of environments. Typically, spending goes down, unemployment increases. I mean, it is not like a sign of a healthy economy and can lead to things like deflation, right? And stagflation, right? Which means that your economies are not growing or and are slowing. And so one really good example that I'm gonna give you guys right now of how, you know, a decreasing deficit is not necessarily a positive thing is when in our only time that we can remember that there was a surplus back when Bill Clinton was president, it was celebrated. It was just, I mean, completely honored, right? We had a surplus in the economy and yet the regular everyday consumer was having to support and sustain their lifestyle using their equity and credit. And we definitely know what happens right after that, right? The entire economy crumbled. So am I afraid of increasing national debt? No. Do I think it's important to make sure that the average consumer can afford the average cost of goods and services? A thousand percent. Do I think that we are, you know, on the cusp of financial ruin and decline? No, and I don't think that whoever is president is going to have an impact on that either. Um, I, I think that it's just so impossible for us to understand what is happening right now because we've never lived it and we have no experience dealing with a national pandemic to this extent, right? I mean, this is crazy. So why did I record this video? Well, one, I wanted to do more research for myself. I think that being informed on these issues is super important. And I do think that the media tries to use sensational headlines to influence the way that you may, you may or may not vote. And I think it's important that that decision be 100% your own. And the other reason is because I just really don't think that any of this stuff has as much impact to your actual life and finances as what you will do with your own actual life and finances. So it's important that you pay attention to these things so that you know how to handle your own finances, but not so that you're scared, right? Being scared is just because you don't know. Be informed and take action and remember, right? Remember that your budget, your spending, and your savings will always have the most impact to your actual financial success. So. With that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome week and I'd love to hear your questions and then tune in to this week's Friday FAQ.